Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2 Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and um, let's see if we can make it back and deliver the... Well, good news that we did get the Sunfire finally, but it looks like um, our good friend Sid's airship got captured by the Dreaded Dreadnought. Well, I guess this um, search and destroy mission has just turned into a search and destroy and rescue mission. No problem multitasking in this game. No stats. All right. Now, usually you have to walk all the way back, but if you head here to this little alcove, yeah, guess what? It's Chocobo time! First time a Chocobo appeared in the series, and I love Rondo the Chocobo. <laughs> I love the Chocobo music. I don't care if I get copyrighted. I love the Chocobo music, and I love every every rendition. This is my favorite song in Final Fantasy, even more than Victory Fanfare, even more than One Winged Angel, and I dare say even more than Dancing Mad. If I'm ever, ever feeling down and depressed, yeah, I ride a chocobo. Yep, let's head back to Palom, because apparently with the airship gone and captured by the Dreadnought, we can't use the airship anymore. So, let's just take the, um, sea ship. Yeah. Now, hopefully I have some good news here back at Altair. Because we sure can use it. Well, if anything, we have a lot of stuff to sell from our recent trip inside Cashwan Keep. Eh, more hornets. The only good thing is, it seems like Gordon's sticking around a lot long longer than um Joseph did. I like Joseph. I wish he'd have stayed around longer. All right, first things first. Let's check up what happened here. See if uh, Princess Hill does anything. Oh, it already hit? Okay. Wait, what? How did she get... What happened here? How did she get inside the Dreadnought? Wait a minute. Wait, no. So, not only does the Empire have Sid and his airship captured, but now he also has Princess Hilda. Well, that just made things really interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe you, do you know anything about the Dreadnought? Oh, so there's got to be a supply drop somewhere. Hmm. Uh, I guess I don't know much else. Well, I, I plan on it, but any idea where this, you know, Dreadnought could have, um, made bear um, or something? Oh, so there's a base north of Finn. Okay, so, hey, at least we have a path now. First things first, let's go sell all our stuff we're never going to use. Go to sell. Yep. Uh, sell one lethal sword. Sell one lethal shield. Uh, spear. Don't need. Don't need you. 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 Yeah, I'll keep blind. Don't need you. I'll keep the golden armor just for giggles. And I'll probably put blind. Um, have um, Maria learn blind since it is black magic. You know, why not? It's not the greatest spell, but it is what it is. Uh, 280 gil? We got plenty of gil right now. I'm not that worried about it. Alright. Well, now that we've got our bearings and all healed up, let's head north to Finn see if we can find where the Dreadnoughts made birth. Now, on the way up there, we're going to run into a whole different um, enemy layer or enemy realm. Whereas down here, like I said, you you hit your normal enemies, your goblins, hornets, stuff like that. All level 1 enemies, all your base bear creatures, you know. Nothing too tough. Now, once you hit a certain threshold up here, you hit into a whole other enemy domain. And you can run into some really tough stuff. A lot of stuff that we were getting into, uh, running into in the um, the later levels of Cash One Keep are um, repeated there as encounters. You also have a couple of other encounters that you haven't encountered yet. One of them being, I believe they're called the Magicians. We definitely want to grind some of those up. Ooh, got agility game, good. 
because they can drop a certain scroll that I definitely want to get my hands on and level up. See, different um, enemy domain. Now we have land turtles up here. Now, if you would have just wandered up here um, earlier, which you really could have, yeah, you would have just gotten annihilated. RPGs back in the older days, especially the older days of Dragon Warrior, if you went too far, oh, Dragon Quest, you went too far up, you would get punished for it. So just, you know, stay where you're supposed to go. Or else the game will spank you and say, hey, go back to where you're supposed to go. Ooh, good gains. And a Mithra Helm that I'll never use because it's heavy. And it reduces agility, and I don't want that. Okay, more ogres. I guess he has layers, doesn't he? All right. Get rid of this ogre. Any stats? Nope. All right. Go away further north. Should be around here somewhere. Why am I not encountering it? It should be just around here. Well, only good thing is even wandering around here trying to find the airship will, like I said, have the possibility to run into a magician, hopefully. All right. Uh, more HP. You never had enough HP. Okay, where is... Okay. God dang it. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I I don't know what those creatures are. I don't think I've ever ran into those. All the times I've played Final Fantasy II, I do not recognize that creature, and I've played this game. Oof. All right, so yeah, maybe went a little too far. Now. See, there we go, magicians. Very nice. Nope, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. First things first, kill the magicians if you can. Get rid of the magicians. They are really tough. They use some very high level magic. Including berserking their own party. It is really bad. Alright, let's see what we drop. What we drop? What we drop? What we dropping? Okay, uh, we got a fire tome. Blarg. Don't need that. Alright, we're gonna have to grind up a little bit, I guess. Okay, we have some were rats. Not bad. Just go into straight attack mode. Alright. Don't wanna waste too much MP because MP is kinda gonna be good in the next level we'll go next dungeon we're going to. I'm going to call it a dungeon next area. Alright, I think we went a little too far south. Alright, uh, stick with that. Use our blizzard. We did buy a few ethers, so we should be pretty good. Next area is not that long. It is kind of tricky, though. And it has one of my favorite items in the game, in, so, yeah. Definitely going to get our hands on that. Kill this ogre. Alright. Stack gain there, nothing bad. All right, where is that? They said it was north of Fen. It should be right up around here. Guys. You know what? Heck with it. Let's kill this thing. Let's see what this creature's all about. Wow, he's got some HP. Well, he's dead, though. Uh, low MP, low HP gain. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, where did that dadgum thing um, make birth? All right. Just like always, it's got to be around here somewhere. I've never had this much trouble finding the freaking dreadnought. Alright, got him. Hooray. And some Hellfire just item. I think it casts like a high level of fire spell if I'm not mistaken. But as I've said earlier, I'll never use it because I won't gain any stats for it. Ooh, magicians. Come on, let's see if we get some good drops. Let's see if we get some good drops. Alright, that's one magician down. I think that's the other one. Okay, both magicians are dead. Okay. Eh, nah, bows, not worried about bows. Alright, got him. Let's see. Do we get a good drop? Do we get a good drop? Yay! We get the Berserk Tome. One of the best spells in the game. I'm not even joking. Um, it is a black magic spell. Um, what it does is it massively, massively upgrades your um, damage output. There, very nice. There's the Dreadnought. Let's see what's inside here. Um, I will be grinding up preferably as much as I can because, like I said, it is a boss killer. Show him the pass, and he lets you in. First things first, let's go explore this area. Do not talk to the soldiers, otherwise you'll have a very, very difficult encounter. Ooh, random encounter with mines. That's not good. Another really week to fire. And if they blow up, at least we know we're going to get some HP growth for it. Is that one of them gone? Okay, he didn't blow up. Good. Just straight attack. Eh, cast a fire too, why not? Well, fire five. <laughs> Alright, uh, a little bit of HP gain. Especially with Gordon, you can use all the HP you really can get. First things first, we want to go down. Game? 
go down here real quick. And you notice, it looks like that one room is blocked off. First, let's take care of these mines and balloons real quick before they become a real problem and blow up in our face. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that gives, takes care of one. Alright. You're gonna blow up. Oh! Wow, gosh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, got them all. Alright, very nice. Should be an HP gain. Ooh, and an agility and stamina gain. Very nice. Now, it looks like you can't get through here, but there's a secret passage for a monster guarding a chest. Oh, crap. They oh, they bushed me. Crap. And they have two sergeants. Holy crap, this isn't good. Alright, this shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. As long as they don't berserk. Oh, crap. This is going to be a long day. Yeah, this is not good. First things first, let's get rid of those. Um, maybe fire will work on them. Let's try and get these magicians out of the way. Oh, come on. Y'all can't even take out magicians? Losers. I only got one out of the way. If they don't berserk again, yeah, you notice whenever they berserk, they can deal a lot of damage. It's obscene. That's why I really need to work on that spell. Is that one of them? Okay, one left. Okay, come on, guy. Don't attack him, guy. I want you to attack the magician. Ow. All right. The Thunder Five shouldn't be too bad. All right. Yep. Yeah. Magic, uh, what are you gonna do? Well, you know what? Let's try out a new Berserk spell. Let's level it up a little bit. Definitely want to cure up um, Gordon because I don't want him to die just yet. Okay, Berserk on Therian. Right now, I just single target Berserk that way you can get the most bang for your buck out of it. Another Thunder spell, that's nice. Get a cure four going on Gordon. Alright. Now let's show them the wrath of the almighty Berserk Spell! Shoot you, Berserk guy. I want you to attack that Dagger Magician. Alright, that Magician is definitely dead now. Alright, that's one Sergeant out of the way. Right, still got one more Sergeant to go. At least they're just soldiers back there. Soldiers aren't too bad. The Sergeant's gonna be really bad. Remember, that was a ball. That was the first actual boss we encountered. So, yeah. Desert Gordon? Show him how angry you can get, Gordon. Alright. These soldiers shouldn't be that bad. We just go on a full auto attack. You know what? I'll Berserk Maria, why not? Hey, the more you use it, the more powerful it gets. And right now, it's only costing one MP, so, hey. Might net me um, an intellect gain since it is technically a black magic spell. See, yeah, hey, we got our staff and shield level up. Ooh, good stats. Two Berserk Storms, a Scourge term Tome. Ooh, and we get the Sleep Blade. Sleep Blade kind of works like the Ancient Sword, except that you cast Sleep. More importantly, now we have the Scourge term Tome. Scourge is the f missing fourth element that we couldn't normally get. Missing fourth black elemental spell. Now, you cannot buy the Scourge Tome. The only way you can actually get it is by either finding it in a certain dungeon or winning it from, yeah, those guys, from Magicians. But if you get it, I definitely suggest leveling up, especially for a, le um, a dungeon we'll be going to soon enough. But also, I got, oh, I forgot. This is another new enemy, Stunners. Yeah, they can stun you, a.k.a. paralyze you. And of course they paralyzed the one character I did not want to be paralyzed in Guy. Although, oh, any they stunned Maria. Oh. Well, the only thing is with par paralysis, it's not a permanent status ailment. It heals up after combat. So, Asuna technically won't heal it. You'd have to use Basuna. And I really don't even use Basuna, really, because... All those stats heal up anyway at the end of combat, so... Kind of pointless. You know, Asuna is a lot more effective because it'll, you know, at higher levels, it'll cure um, petrification, poison, um, mute. Yeah, really good stuff. Well, I say good stuff, really bad stuff that you really don't want to be afflicted with. So you get rid of this last gas. There we go. Any stats? Nope, but a crap ton of money. 
Like way over here. Ow! Alright, get rid of these ghasts. Send them back to the underworld once they came. A little fire magic. Oh, I should have just single casted it. Oh well. Nine times out of ten, Furion's gonna go first anyway. Oh, no, Maria did. Maria's got a crap ton of agility, I will admit that. Alright, got him. But alright. But can we finally find the princess? Use the Sunfire and destroy the dreaded Dreadnought before it can wreak any more havoc upon our world? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure.